diverse uh, cuisine that has many influences um, through the years. Um, started out with a lot of Malay before any other influence came. Then a little Chinese, then of course a lot of Spanish and a little bit of Mexico via the galleon trade. And then 45 years of hamburgers and Coca-Cola from America. <laughs> We have a very iconic dessert called halo halo, which means mix mix. So I think it best describes what our cuisine is. It's um, probably the first original fusion cuisine. First one for me is sourness. Um, it's uh, the most prevalent flavor profile. The second one is the, the Sausawan culture, which is using side condiments to balance that sourness. And the third one, the fact that we eat all the time. <laughs> I find that Hong Kong actually is one of the best eating cities in the world. That made me very conscious where it is to eat the best cuisine. The fact that the best high-end dining is just as good as the best street food or the, the best, like, um, the, the usual, like, the best beef noodle or just going for the best roast goose. Frog's legs. I think dim sum. I'm a, I'm a Xia Lung Pao, uh, deep fried milk, fried bun sort of person. <laughs> Soft boiled. Three minutes. Very runny in the center. There's always something new to learn every day, something new to taste, and whatever I encounter allows my work to become so much more creative and rich. I think um, being willing to work really hard, I think that it's, uh, it's a, it, it seems like a very glamorous business on the outside, but when I started, I didn't have the discipline and the sense of responsibility, and I had to learn it the hard way. And fast forward 30 years after, I realized that it's not just the creativity, it's not just that you can cook well, but it's understanding what the back, back of the house requires to keep the business going. Hi, I'm Margarita Forrest from the Philippines. Come and visit our country. It has a lot of people who love to eat and who just love to feed you. So come and visit us.